Hey, DeMonte. It's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, you didn't make the trip to Wake Forest. How good did it feel to, to finally get that first game under your belt on Saturday uh, and to make the splash you did with a couple of TFLs? And uh, did you have any nerves uh, as you ran down the hill for the first time? Oh, nah. It was just it was just a good experience. It was fun. All of what I thought from recruitment, from recruitment to now, it was all the same. Oh, it was. Did you did you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Demonte, you and and Trey and uh, Miles and Brian, you, you're kind of like the Fab Four that have come in here on the on the defensive line, um, making a big first impression. What, what's it been like, and and uh, what kind of relationship have y'all been able to establish? Um, it's just it's we all a unit. We all learning together. We're, we're growing together. We're maturing together. So. I mean, it's just a process, and we're we're sticking to it. So, you know, we're helping each other out as we go along. Hey, Demonte, it's Anna with Twenty Four Seven Sports. For you, what has been the biggest adjustment um, from high school to college as you've made that transition? Uh, I'd probably say um, probably preparing, like mentally and mentally preparing like game prep and stuff like that. Yeah, that's probably been my toughest, toughest issue so far, yeah. When you say game prep, do you mean learning the game plan or learning what, you know, I guess the opposing offense wants to do? Yeah, it's like basically, well, so it's half and half because like learning the game plan could be tough and then like breaking down their film and learning it like block rec and stuff like that, so yeah. Demonte, Brad Sinkoff here from allclemson.com. When you think about from a physical standpoint, did you feel like when you got to college you were ready physically to kind of handle what it takes to play at this level and compare yourself to the other guys like Brian and, and Miles and just how they're, everybody just kind of got physically ready as true freshmen? How difficult was that to get to that point? Um, like a, uh, I, I mean, I felt like I was ready, but I – then again, you have to be true with yourself. Like sometimes you might feel that you're ready, but you're really not. So I like, uh, I'm just going along as, as the coach is telling me, like, what what do I have to do? So like, I'm just doing what the coach is uh, telling me to do. So, yeah. Come on, Come on Dave, Trevor again. Go ahead, Trevor. Sorry, go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, thanks. Um, I think you arrived still in the 200s in January, right? And then this past way in, you around 305, 306. Where do you think you might kind of tip the scales in the next year and then maybe by the time you're done here? Um, I'm confused. Like, what are you, what are you asking? Like, in terms of weight. Um, are you pleased with 306? Do you think you'll keep on adding weight? I mean, where do you think you'll kind of cap off? Uh, me, I'm, I don't, I'm, I mean, I feel fine at 305, but, you know, once again, I don't, I, whatever the coaches see me at. So, I mean, I feel fine at 305. If I have to get bigger, then I get bigger. Then if I'm staying where I'm at, I'm staying where I'm at, or maintaining or losing or whatever I have to do. Monte, it's Trevor again. Um, I don't know how important the uh, the the Palmetto Bowl rivalry is to you, being a, a South Carolina native, uh, you and your family and friends. But um, how, how disappointing was it to find out that you wouldn't be playing the Gamecocks in your first season? Um, it was it was all right. I mean, it's just another game as as we see it. Um, some, I mean, it's it's a great game. Don't get me wrong. It's um. It's just some, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a great game. I mean, it's just another. I, I don't know. It really didn't strike me. I mean, I'm a, I'm a well moon, so. Demonte, can you recall a moment or a play or a specific practice where it was kind of like hit you hard that you were, all right, this is no longer high school. I'm in college now. Whether that was in camp or back in the spring. Yeah. Definitely when I was in camp. Yeah, like, it hit me hard. I just 
camp, it, yeah, it, it really brings the best out of you. It can crumble you as well. So I just like stuck with it and just bear with it. Demonte, what's it, what's it been like playing? Sorry, Ann, go ahead. Was it more of the mental part than the physical part in camp that you're referring to? Yeah, I believe it was the mental part because some days I'll feel great. And mine, will, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's the mental part, yeah. What's it been like playing for Coach Bates? Um, uh, it's been – it's been – like I said, it's been the same as recruitment. It's uh, he's gonna coach you, coach you hard. He uh, he's gonna we focus focus on a load of things, technique. Uh, just because you make a big play doesn't mean you, know, you you did everything right. We're we're correcting the techniques, little things, uh, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it, it's playing for him. It's it's all of what he was harping on during the recruitment process and all that. Anybody with anything else for DeMonte? DeMonte, this is Grace Rayner with The Athletic. What was your recruitment process like? Uh, I kind of like, I kind of knew I was coming to Clemson because, I mean, I wasn't too far from home because I didn't want to be too close, but not too far. So I just kept it in state with Clemson.